Now, it's an IHF shoot-up. Three rounds. If they're still tied after that, it'll continue round for round. You can use anyone you want after the third round as many times as you want. A number of these players play in the Canadian Hockey League. Surprisingly, Mikhail Grigorenko of Russia is 0 for 3 in shootouts in the Quebec League this year. Tanner Richard will shoot first for the Swiss. He's 0 for 1 in the Ontario League for Guelph this year. 0 for 1 here as well. He's got three goals on the season in Guelph. He's a playmaker, 36 assists. Here he goes. Here comes Richard and Vasilevsky. Fired it wide. And also, after the third round, it's still tied, they reverse the order. Back to left, he didn't buy one of the teams. He stayed right in the middle of the net. Here comes Gregorenko. 29 goals in the Quebec League this year, but he's been struggling in shootouts. 0 for 3. When I think of him on a shootout, I think of a, a deep using his reach, pulling the smaller door tender out of position. got a smaller goaltender you can move him side to side. Gregorenko decides to go from his backhand to his forehand in a quick shot. And Neuber stays with him right past stop. And he knew for certain that Barchi was going to be one of the Swiss shooters. And here he comes. He's missed twice in shootouts of the tournament so far. his first short-handed breakaway. Bates went to his forehand, tried to go out around Vasilevsky's long leg. Vasilevsky has taken it away. There was nowhere for that puck to go. And here comes Nail Yakupov. The Russian captain with a chance to give his team the lead in round two. Yakupov in on nice first stop. Two attempts, two low blocker, two right pad save for Martin Neufler. Yakupov doesn't quite get it up high enough and it's the top of the pad. Sven Andrigetta 0 for 3 in the Quebec League this year on shootouts, 0 for 2 in this tournament. Andrigetta! Check by Vasilevsky! While I would beat Neusler, I would shoot on Vasilevsky. He's too big. He stays back in the net. And Regetto tries to poke check him, or tries to go around him. He poke check. And now Kachera with a chance to win it for the Russians. And Gina Kachera. And he stop. Might have hit the post. The Russian best goal scorer in this tournament is Kucherov. He makes the deke oh. and rings it off the goal post. So now, as you mentioned earlier, Gord, they will switch the order here for round four, and it's Gregorenko to head out first. So Gregorenko, who has stopped in the first round, a chance to put the Russians in the lead. First successful shootout attempt this year for Gregorenko. That's what I thought in the first round the big Gregorenko should do. Make the smaller goaltender and use your reach. That's sweet hands for Gregorenko. And if Vasilevsky can make the save here on Bertaggio, the Russians will go to the semi. Here comes Bertaggio. Vasilevsky scores. And the shootout is extended. What a clutch play by Bertaggio. Again, I think the attack on Vasilevsky has to be the shot. This is a perfect shot. I mean, Vasilevsky is given very little room for Tashia. Hits the goal post and bounces it in. Kucherov hitting the post in round three. Now trying to put the Russians ahead again. Watch the freeze right there by Kucherov. Puts it in with the backhand, and now they're going back to Bertaggia on back-to-back -back attempts. He scored once on three tries for Brandon Molester.